What's the deal with movies? Why do they even make them anymore? They don't make money, they come out every day, and no one knows what's happening. And with all the streaming services available, there's no way to keep up with it all. That was my terrible Jerry Seinfeld impression, but the man does make a point. Or he did recently in an interview with GQ. Let's go over it. Jerry Seinfeld has a new movie coming out in a week called Unfrosted. It's the unofficial Pop-Tart story. I know what you're thinking. How could the man possibly live up to the reputation of a B-movie? Jokes aside, Seinfeld remains one of my favorite sitcoms to date. I'm a huge fan of the show. I've watched it a million times over. Highly quotable. Highly hilarious. And you can chalk up some of his comments recently stated to, all right, the man's almost 70 years old. He's just a bitter, washed up comedian. I don't think so. I don't think that's the game here at all. In fact, he's basically echoing things I have said on this channel for months now, which is that the film industry is a relic of the past. It's no longer viable the way it was. It's not a touchstone, cultural, impactful thing to folks anymore. And it's not even just to the youth of today, it's everyone. Besides the people on my channel, Adam Does Movies, which you should subscribe to because I talk about movies every single week on the channel and we're having a good time here. I actually had a video a month or so back talking about how the new generation specifically doesn't seem to give a shit about movies. And I have two kids of my own who I very much raised on Star Wars, Indiana Jones, The Goonies, Sandlot, things I grew up with. And then, of course, the new stuff that comes out as well. A lot of things by Illumination, Marvel movies, some of the classics from way back when. They're getting a good, well-rounded experience of film. But even as they get older, I notice them start to separate from films. They start to go to the phones more. They start to go to Netflix more and watch TV shows and just get those quick hits of dopamine. And that's what everyone's doing. And Jerry's point is exactly that. It's not that movies are getting worse. I do think on the whole they are, but that's not so much individually films are getting worse. It's just there is such a huge amount of movies being produced and TV shows and miniseries every week that just because of the quantity, the quality is going to go down. And so overall, the batting average is, has dropped. But the big problem is the amount of noise out there. The internet has blown up to such a freaking huge degree. These social media tools, these apps are biting for your time. They want you watching them. They're craving your attention. So they throw up every sort of thing they can think of. And before you know it, someone's been on their phone for three hours, not even realizing it. That also drops down the attention span and they're not going to sit through a two and a half hour movie. And why even bother going to the movies when you have now been trained to stay home and watch what's on one of the 18 different streaming services you have, which also contain new streaming exclusives and this is really where Hollywood shot themselves in the foot because there are so many options there's so many streaming services and because we have trained people we've conditioned them to not go to theaters anymore unless it's the biggest of big films there's no way to really hit those cultural moments anymore right now Fallout's being talked about a lot it's popular it's on TikTok it's on YouTube shorts all the time people are loving it I've watched a few episodes with my wife. We're, we're enjoying it. I don't think it's near as great as everyone else is saying, but it's definitely an entertaining, fun show. And so there you have my review of that. <laughs> but it's so few and far between now. Back in the day, back in the olden times, when cable was a thing, there was really a limited amount of stuff people could watch. And so the conversation often was an easy one to have with your neighbors or people down the road. Just... Hey, what did you watch yesterday? Did you catch that episode of Friends? Did you catch that episode of this or that? It's, it, there was nothing else to watch. And even so, the stuff they were putting out, it seemed like there was a little pride in it. They took their time casting the right people. They took their time on the scripts. They took their time making a good production. Because they were rewarded for doing so. When you put the time in and when you make something that's going to stick around, that people can quote, borderline, recite from memory, 
yeah, you are going to have staying power and that's going to keep the show going. But now it's churn and burn. You have to keep up with what's going on every 15 seconds or you're out the door forgettable. And so the quality goes down. The writing goes down. The actors they pick are just kind of thrown together based on some checkboxes so that they can say, look at we have a woman of color in this. Look at we have a gay guy in this. Look at we got that. And it's all to get the different buckets of people to watch. Because the guy down the road, his algorithm is all LGBTQ stuff. So he's swiping through and he says, oh, this show has someone that I can relate to or that I want to see. I like this actor. Let's watch the show. And then, oh, it's got someone else for the person over here. This is what they do now. There's no passion into it. It's just so artificial. It's so business. It's, be it's big business over there. And it's funny that Jerry's kind of candidly talking about this. He has no horse in this race anymore. He has nothing to lose. He probably got paid a ton of money to make his unfrosted film. I'm eager to see how this one works out. I hated a B-movie. Again, I love Seinfeld, so I'm curious. I'll watch it. I'll review it on the channel, of course. Even though he said those comments, clearly part of him still likes this thing. Clearly part of him still wants to make something special that's memorable. And it's not just for the money. He doesn't need the money. And I'm with him. There are going to be big movies that come out every year still. Barbie, Oppenheimer, that whole thing was huge. Dune did very well. People are liking Dune. But there's a lot of movies that are failing. Left and right. And the money is too much. It's too expensive to make these films. The theater, when I go to it, nine times out of ten is 85% empty. Usually there's only a handful of people. Sometimes I'm the only person in the theater opening night for a film. That is absolutely insane. And of course, I don't want it to be like this. I love going to the theaters, even though it's turned into kind of a miserable mess because people are trash. And the theater is kind of trash because they don't have any workers because the theaters aren't generating enough money. It's a great system all around right now. <laughs> but I still believe in it. I still want it to work. I still think movies can be made that hit all of those boxes for people. They have quotable lines. They look cinematically fantastic. And in fact, I finished a script myself. I put together a pitch deck. It's out there now. And I'm eagerly awaiting some responses. I'm eagerly awaiting to hear what people say. Uh, fingers crossed. I'm, I'm very excited. But either way, either way. I believe in it, obviously, and I'm willing to put myself, I'm willing to put my time on the line to make something happen. Okay, those are my thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Do you agree with Jerry and myself that things have gotten a lot worse in Hollywood and it does seem like people are moving on, they're moving away from it more than ever before? Or do you think it's just as strong? And everything is, is flourishing. All these streaming apps are being loved by people and they can't wait for the next Netflix movie to come out so they can talk about it with each other. Please like the video. Again, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. I post content every single week here. It's always movie related. Would love to have you stick around. If you really like what I'm doing, maybe check out my second channel, Adam Does Rants. I just bitch up a storm about the silliest things. Sometimes it gets topical, but I try to keep it uh, very fun and light so everyone feels like they have a voice or can relate in some capacity. And if you really, really super like what I'm doing, I have Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, or you can become a member right here via that YouTube join button. It's just a way to show your support for a one-man operation. All right, thank you, and hopefully I see you next time.